Darcy, you are truly the most selfless person I have ever met in my life. I have always believed in the divine plan, and as I stand here today, I believe that everything that has happened in my life has led me to this moment right now. All our previous life events have made us who we are today and has given us the gift of our beautiful families sitting here watching us pledge our love to one another. I saw a quote that said, life is like a book. We're all given a first page and a last page. It's how we fill those pages that tell the story. And. Uh, I know the last few chapters will be the best <laughs> yet. <laughs> You put everyone's needs in front of yours all the time. Your children have been blessed with a wonderful father, and now my children and grandchildren are blessed to have you in their lives. So we have come together to witness the marriage of Darcy John Lukanchak and Lori Jean Keith according to the Marriage Act of Saskatchewan. Marriage is a time-honored institution. It is a partnership of two people devoted to one another. A partnership sustained by mutual love and understanding through all of life's varied circumstances. My dear Lori, you are so beautiful to me. I pledge to you with what you've already had and has always been yours. That's my eternal love. In the joys and troubles that lie ahead of us, I will be faithful and loving to you. Take my hand. Let's enjoy our hopes, our thoughts, our dreams, and I'll build our lives together. virtually today to toast the groom, my brother Darcy. As many of you know, my brother's life has had its share of ups and downs. But a little over two years ago, I started getting the feeling that something had changed. This is also a time I started hearing about someone named Lori. On our last trip, just before COVID lockdown, we were visiting Washington, D.C. Darcy talked at length about his feelings and his intentions. He spoke of his strong wish to commit to Lori. 
Uh, in fact, it went so long one night at a bourbon bar, we were asked to leave so the staff could go home. I like to think that Dad and Uncle Mike are watching from the big baseball diamond in the sky when I say congratulations. My family and I are very proud you have found love. Please join me in a toast to the group. To the groom! today to share with my friend her dream come true. Her dream was simple. A husband whose love of family is as great as hers was willing to shop for hours with her, <laughs> to share her practical ways, love to travel, someone to curl up on the couch with, to hold her hand and comfort her when she sat, and mostly someone to love and care for her as deeply as she will for him. Darcy, you were a dream come true. Could not be happier for you both, so please join me in a toast to the bride. May the rest of your life together be filled with love here today and a thousand more sunrises and sunsets. Darcy, you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to grow old with you, and it's the biggest gift I could ever imagine. I feel so loved and protected by you. I promise you my everlasting love, loyalty, and devotion. I promise to love you unconditionally through the good times and the bad times. And there will be bad times. <laughs> <laughs> but I promise to never become indifferent. We may not be the two typical newlyweds just starting out, but we are building a legacy for our children and our grandchildren. The ones here today and all our future grandchildren. I can't wait. I do solemnly declare that I do not know. I do not know of any lawful impediments. Of any lawful impediments. Why I, Darcy John Lukinchuk. Why I, Darcy John Lukinchuk. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Lori Jean Keith. To Lori Jean Keith. We are the chosen ones. We are the few. As we've always done, I promise to walk hand in hand with you through all our journeys. No matter what lies in our path, we are our path together. Your zest for life is contagious and you leave a special mark on everybody who comes into your life. From your patients who adore you to the random person on the street, you always leave them with a smile. Dad, we love you. You are the greatest man that we have ever known. And all Jade, Cerise, Sam and I have ever wanted was for you to find somebody who appreciates your enormous heart and loves you unconditionally. We knew as soon as we met Lori, she would be that person. And we are so, so happy to be standing here sharing this special day with all of you. So if everyone could raise their glasses, and toast to Lori and welcome her and all of her family and her friends to our family.
Hi, Darcy, John, Luke, and Jack. Do I take the glory to be my wedded wife? To be my wedded wife. <laughs> <laughs> I call upon this person to be present I, Lori Jean Key, to witness that I, Lori Jean Key, to take the Darcy John Lupinchuk, to take the Darcy John Lupinchuk, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> and you are respectful and understanding of myself, Ryan, and Stacy. Uh, with Darcy, my mom has found a partner, somebody who makes her happy, um, and someone she can share her life with, whether it's going out for a night on the town or sitting around with a glass of wine and a crib board. With that, I ask that you raise your glass and give a toast to Darcy and the rest of his family. Welcome.